My people. Violence. Where? Grease your team. Yeah. Look at that. Moist. Barigani. Uh, hi guys, it's good to see you. Yeah, I can say that right now. Ah, good to see you. Hey, so anyway, I hope not to get some banana bread. I need to get some cut to talk about my dish. Um, but my banana bread recipe is not everybody's banana bread recipe. People differ. There are different schools of thought. Uh, but I believe in using bananas. They using over ripened bananas, as you can see. I have bananas, I have a bunch of bananas. This is about 800 grams of bananas. It came to 820 red. Um, the weight of the bananas. So I'm mashing them. They've ripened. They're actually blackened. Uh, let me show you a picture of how they ripen. They, they ripen. I put them in the fridge to stop the ripening process. Process them. Uh, <laughs> they blackened. Their skin's blackened, but they're still good to use. So these are my bananas. Mashed using just the normal masher. The masher not that you can buy. Smells like bananas in here. Wet. Yeah, mashed. So some people blend them. Not absolutely necessary in my case. Yeah. So here I have 450 grams of self raising flour to which I'm going to add. Baking soda, five grams. And I'm just gonna mix it in here. You can have mixed spices here. There's some people who like cinnamon, There's some people who like, you know, mixed spices, dry ingredients. I use mixed spices. Uh, you can get this from the supermarket. They can, yes, they can be used for sweet and savory foods as well for baking. A friend of mine likes to put tea masala in his banana bread, so it's really like it's really nice and spicy. So that is that. I'm going to set that aside for now. Then I have 225 grams of brown sugar, which I'm going to put in the mixer. As well as Okay, for this one, I have to raise the mix, just mix it slightly and put that in. It's a well used mixer. <laughs> 225 grams. Oh. At a margin to which I have, I'm going to add. Vanilla essence. I use clear. You might have noticed I use a lot of clear vanilla essence. Um, the reason I do that is because um, um, I buy vanilla ones. It helps you to. I put in. This is grated lemon, and um, this is my. But like I said, um, I prefer. There's something about lemon or and orange drink that makes my banana bread. I like the taste when I put it. It, it just elevates the taste. Yeah. dark brown vanilla essence has a tendency to color to color to color icing especially if you want a white frosting 
it makes it dark brown or if you are trying for a bright color and then you know the clear one flavors the frosting without coloring it that's why i buy the, 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 the flavor it, it, it tastes as good as the if you ask me it tastes as good as the slight uh, brown one uh, the light brown one so yeah that's why i buy i use lots of uh, I, I, i'd rather buy in bulk the clear then i can use it for both purposes yeah that's why It's not like I like using, but yeah, um, I cream this in here and then I am going to transfer it to the bowl that I mashed the bananas in. Remember, maybe you should have seen this at the beginning. Only start with clean hands. Wash your hands clean before handling any food, which we did off camera. But yeah, we did. It's time to touch the corner on camera too. We actually do <laughs> clean our hands before starting this. So, without mouse and boom, you can not get up. If my bowl, my mixer bowl is big enough, um, I would have you know, done the thing, put everything in here. But, oh well, we work with what we have. so it actually looks like a loaf of banana bread so you can get slices of it what I like to do to my loaf tin is grease it very well and put some flour in there uh, and then I chill it um, apparently some science uh, enables it to rise steadily and flat uh, but it's not really absolutely necessary but it's just a habit I've developed for all my baking uh, whatever things I butter them then put a bit of flour and then um, I put them in the fridge to chill for a bit. Um, what that does, it also gives you a very nice caramelization. So it's just nice crust, brown crust. In my experience, I found that to be true. So yeah, let's get the cake tin and put our banana bread inside. Oops. The channel has that. That's what it looks like. I use a bit of brown flour, so that's why brown color. Yeah. Oh, by the way, by all means, you can use wholemeal flour. Maybe we'll learn that later. Healthy baking, we'll do healthy baking, low calorie baking. We'll do a brown 
or meal flour, one hundred. So that's what I used to add, or meal on hand, that's what I used to do. Butter and flour, my. So guys, uh, quite a bit remained from my recipe. Um, I didn't have three, three, four hundred gram uh, baking tins. So this other one can't really be in the shape of a cake. Mm, I use, I'm using a six inch round cake. I've done baking spray. Mm, I like doing both uh, both ways so that you can see for yourself the different effects of using baking spray mm, and off. Greasing using butter or margarine and a bit of flour to you know grease your tin. Banana, very nice. No, no. <laughs> 